Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4 Darkest Hour mod. We are, of course, playing as the Gruzdorchikrecht. I can't pronounce that at all, I'm sorry. It's the 30th of June, 1938, and we are progressing through our focus tree, the second Libjana Award. We've taken lots and lots of territory, as is tradition, as, of course, the great, great German peoples. And our light tanks are doing the tanky good stuff. And we win! GG. We helped out the peoples. Uh, so we can currently invite Hungary to our faction, though I'm not sure why I would want that. And it's the end of the Spanish Civil War, of course. Oh, baby. Not really sure why I want to invite the disgusting Hungarians into my peoples, but, you know. Whatever. We also have some free dockyards. Uh, what are we making? We could try and finish this battleship stuff. Yeah, let's go to battleships, and then we can just, once the battleships are done, they can go to make light cruisers. And how are we doing with recruitment? Uh, we're still building an absolute crazy amount of infantry divisions and also the first parts of tanks oh baby the second Legio award have it's occurred uh the territory that bulgaria is considered rightfully her own was handed to greece after the second balkan war and the great war if we write this wrong we could bind bulgaria to us oh bulgaria exists so yeah how are they not strong enough to claim that they're only really worthy ally for us let us bind bulgaria to us or they need to earn our friendship yes Ah, uh, let's bind Bulgaria to us. Why? Why not? Let's let's do it. Greece refuses. Oh God! Now I'm at war with Greece. Uh, sh shit. <laughs> sh shit. Okay. Well, now we're at war with Greece. Um, gains public war focus against Greece. The second leave Joe Ward. Okie dokie, let's get murdering time. Uh, let's put half. Let's put half of the dudes on this. We will give them the best field marshal we own. Who is this guy? Uh, wow, we have a lot of four strength generals, but basically no field marshals. Uh, let's go, Gunther von Gluckla. All right. Well, we're going to make a nice, sexy Greek puppet. Oh dear. Well, that sucks. Never mind. Because they are, they've been guaranteed. Oh shit. Well, they've been guaranteed, so we don't really want to kick off World War II just yet, for Christ's sake. Uh, we'll do that later. That's okay. Uh, what's next? So, we can go the first Vienna Awards and retool check industry. So, the first Vienna Award, then second Vienna Award. Then we can give lands. What? Pact of Steel. Hmm. And then we get Italian lands. To annex French territory up to the River Rhone, including the Sea of Nice and Marseille, as well as regions of Savoy and Islands of Corsica. The Count turned a blind eye, and for the sake of conditions, gained grand control of Italy to south of southeastern France. Oh, so obviously I that only works once I've already killed everybody. That's fine. Uh, let's go first Vienna Award. I don't know why focuses take such a short amount of time. Ah! Oh, that's okay, we have that puppet focus. We can do that later. No problem. We'll do that once the war's kicked off. And now we go Kampfgruppe on modern Blitzkrieg. We are working towards the grill. Sexy, sexy grills. You gotta have the good, gr the sexy grills, guys. What is life without grills, I ask you? Um, oh, baby. So we don't need the forces on the Greek front anymore. Let's put these guys on the French barrier. There you go. Merry Christmas. And uh, we're going to have you guys be the goal to get right to Paris's butt. I want you right in Paris's butt. Look at that. Mm. No, no, just that. No, it, it, there we go. Nope. Oh, oh, my mouse is going everywhere. There we go. Beautiful. No. It, it, yeah, good enough. Um, ooh, we have enough research slot available. So don't want to waste it on the tank stuff, because there's no real reason to go ahead of time on that. A radar station, eh, we've already got the one radar station. Artillery-wise, we're okay. Infantry equipment, blah, 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 blah. Logistics company, logistics could work, because it would help us deal with some supply issues that we might have. We're building a lot of infantry equipment, which is great. Wow, look at all the troops that exist here. Holy shit. Um, and these guys, and these guys. Everybody on this front. And we're going to put these guys on the Polish front. Yeah! 
And they are going to go right up here. Oh, baby. It's pretty. It's a pretty goddamn easy border, let's be honest here. Uh, we may want to put some troops on this bit. We cannot. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's, let's send nine. Yeah, let's send these guys to that slot there. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Because then we can hold onto this line a bit better. We can assign them the defensive guy of the Trickster and Reconnaissance of Heinz Gudarian. Good stuff. That way they'll hold on nicely. We'll have 70 dudes pushing east and through Warsaw. Uh, we are constructing tanks and shit decently fast. Because we've obviously put so much of our stuff into building lots and lots of tanks. Let me see, how many am I actually making? Still making a fair amount of light tanks as well. Oh, we need to get a little bit more tungsten from uh, the Portuguese. Looks like you failed me. Old buddy, old pal. Building lots and lots of troops. And we also gain a little bit of stuff. So we could go... Ah, we can actually go war economy. Sweet. The fourth international. Growing support for Trotskyism. Hooray, hooray. Look at that. Look at that factory production. And France and Britain and this alliance. And Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon. Oh, we didn't get a... I didn't really get a... The first Vienna Award. The one of the people suffered the slaughter of the Hungarian Empire. They're stranded on foreign soil. We could greatly improve relations by avoiding them some territory in Czechoslovakia. Ah, why did I do that? I don't want to do that. Transylvania has a Hungarian majority and should be gone to our friends in Hungary. It's hard to say how the Romanian regime and their people will react to this demand. Okay, cool. So this is about nicking stuff from Romania. Well, their independence hasn't been guaranteed, so it's alright. Yay. Definitely going to be a good idea. Oh, they've an integrated puppet of, uh, of the other guys. It's going to be a good idea to put some troops on the Amsterdam front as well. And you know what? We're now very vast, quickly approaching the point where we need to... Uh... Oh. To get an alliance with Spain, we have to already... What? The French Republic must not be true. Ah, we ought to get an alliance with Spain, we already have to have beaten France. How useless for us. So we're going to need to go research Eastern Claims and then Danzig or War. Actually, really, really soon. Damn. That's not good. So to get war with Greece... What? Kingdom of Greece exists at war. Is not in a faction with... What? So to be able to get war with Greece... Oh, they have to already be at war with somebody. Okay, that's fine. Fall of Nanjing. Well, we're going to definitely need to be swift about this. Then we're going to no, dockyards. Hey, look at that. We build the first battleships. Hooray. Uh, let's start cracking out some more of these bad boys. Actually getting some ships. It's incredible. More tungsten, please. Direct ground support. Whoops. Uh, yeah, let's keep going here. Age generation chance or air support, air, air support mayor, uh, superiority efficiency, please. And there it is, second Vienna award. Recognizing that a new order has been established in Europe, we have asked Hungary, Hung we've been asked by Hungary and Romania to arbitrate a territorial dispute between two countries. Transylvania is taken from Hungary and incorporated into Romania in one of the many ill-conceived changes forced upon the world, world at Versailles. Should northern Transylvania be returned to Hungarian control? Give hu uh, Hungary northern bits, give it all of it, or Transylvania should remain in Romania. Give it all of it. Yeah! Fuck you, Romania. Alright, we're gonna invite Romania because they're pretty chill. There you go. Invite to faction! Yay, we have Hungary. Okay, so now we're gonna... The war is gonna begin. Exciting. It's, uh, it's time. We got a lot of soldiers here. Uh, we're definitely going to want to go over to extensive conscription pretty much as soon as the war begins. And you know what? I think it might be a good idea. Oh, the second Vienna Awards. There it is. We're probably going to want to start assigning plenty bang bangs. Plenty bang bangs. Coming soon. 
to a theater near you. Let's get rid of all these planes and actually assign good front line front wings. Front wings? Wings. Mmm, front wings. Delicious. Coming soon to a vendor near you. Where are my fighters? God damn it. Where are my fighters? Why do I only have 200 fighters? Wow. I have like 600 fucking fighters. What the shit? Oh, I really should have assigned more fighter dudes. That would have been better a better idea, I think. Do I have enough light? I think I have enough light tanks now. Go go away. Oh dear. There it is. Commonwealth of Poland's joined the Allies. I uh I think we need to build some more factories. Oh my. The Treaty of Krevo, Hungary, Spain, and Transylvania. Bulgaria has reminded us of their long standing boundary dispute with Romania. Southern de, southern de blah blah blah. So, let them demand southern de blah blah, or we'll not back any demands. Ah, uh, let them demand it. Yeah! More concessions upon Romania. Fuck you, Romania. They are significantly weakened. Basically, it's just like, hey, give me this insignificant piece of territory that no one cares about. Alright, reassert eastern claims. There it is. Uh, can't do Danzig or War just yet, so we're gonna need to go to the ooh, the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. It turned into a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union and agreed to divide Poland between Soviet and Germany. Okay, and then there's a Berlin-Moscow alliance. This will just span the axis to create a Berlin-Moscow faction. What? Dude, no, I don't want that. An unholy alliance and a crusade against the West. What? That's fucking weird. That is so weird. Aryan kinship. Wow, look at all this cool stuff we can do. It's really different. A European confederation, northern flank. Wow. Well, we're going to definitely... Let's go, let's go Molotov Ribbentrop Pact so we can divide Poland a little bit. We might as well do that. Memo Lithuania falls. If Lithuanian governors agree to our demands, and Memo will be incorporated back into eastern Prussia. Oh, you know, the unlawfully stolen province. Yeah! Give me that territory I don't really care about. Yeah, we're grabbing stuff because we're Germany and we don't care. Yeah. Grr, we're mean. We like to take things. Yeah. Kind of sad that we don't really have any planes though. It's sad. It's, it's a kind of it's kind of unfortunate, I'm not going to lie. Um so let's make sure we actually have a decent amount of soldiers in every single front. Uh, the actual main offensive force still does not have a field marshal. Let's, uh, let's assign one. Let's promote the um, Feder book. Yeah. Oh, no, this guy's super good. He's got, he's got really good entrenchment. We don't really care about the entrenchment. Actually, yeah. Right. This guy should have the entrenchment one. He's going to be standing still for a million years. Yeah. There we go. And you should have the field marshals uh, of, uh, of the cool stats and whatnots. Where'd you go? There you go. Oh, he's a general. He's a general. Where? God damn it. Where are you? Walter Modell. Uh, general, general. I really wish I could just... Let's go. Let's go by capacity. Thank you. That's all we have? God damn it. Alright, cool. Uh, it's a pretty easy force. We'll be fine. You guys are going to head to Warsaw. I feel like we probably should have at least some kind of troops on the western line, just in case. Because it's pretty likely they're going to try some shit. But we'll see about that. God, we have so much fucking manpower in the field, it's crazy. Um, I think we're kind of fine for support equipment and motorized and weaponized now. Like, I think we're now officially making too much. I think I should be making more tanks. Because it's the tanks that are going to win this war. Let's, uh, let's do this. There we go. As we capture factories, we can uh, change stuff over. We are going to get quite a lot of factories from uh, from Poland, of course. Hey, Soviets, why don't you give me a little bit of that uh, sexy oil? Oh, that's, a, that's aluminium. I don't need aluminium. Go away. All right, there it is. The Molotov from Trail Pact. They signed the pack. Unfortunately, my friends now question Germany's commitment to the ultimate destruction of communism. When matters of Poland and France have been settled, we may need to revisit this treaty. But that's a discussion. For another time. Danzig or war? Danzig or war? Oh, baby. 
Can you only pick one of these? German-Polish alliance. <laughs> Alright, Danzig was German. Danzig has remained German, and Danzig shall be German from here on. And now on. If Poland does not cede the territory, we must prepare the German people for the inevitable war. Danzig and the surrounding lands will be returned to Germany. Alright, there it is. The Molotov Ribbon Trap Pact. Might as well try and go the historical route, right? I mean, why not? Wait, what? Oh, it auto finished. That happened very, very quickly. Oh, God. That was extremely fast. So, considering the demands, it seemed inevitable. The Commonwealth of Poland would be forced to cede Danzig to Germany, and a Polish plenipotentiary would be sent to Berlin to negotiate further terms. Ignacy, Modstik, Pazzerat, blah, 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 blah. The recent actions were saying it was obvious Germany would not satisfy Danzig alone. German Polish forces are prepared for war, and the ports are already coming in the classes of order. Once again, there's war in Europe. A plenipotentiary. That is a name. Let's Google that. Plenipotentiary. Christ. A person especially invested with the full power of an independent action on behalf of their government. Oh, so a diplomat who can make decisions. Then it is war. Eh? Yeah? Hello? They refuse to see Danzig. Uh, attempts to allow them to hand over it peacefully, even vowing to give up our claim on other German territories in exchange. Remember refusal. Nothing else to do but declare war, my friends. So we now have two other choices here, going down the Danziger war tree. Heims in Reich, which the German foreign policy knows Heims Reich was aimed at bringing these people home in the empire. All across Europe, from Tyrone the Baltics, the former kingdom of Galicia and Ladamria, Romania and USSR, there are two million ethnic Germans, the, Volk, the Volksdeutsch, who were resettled in newly acquired territory, chiefly in western Poland. I feel like I may need to finish that first. And then we have uh, Felkib. If we want to assure a tactical advantage against France, we need to be hit, they'll hit them from all sides. They will not expect an attack from the north, which is exactly where we'll hit them once we've disposed of a few obstacles. Awesome. So that's the Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Uh, well, we can't really, uh, can't really do that just yet. There we go. So we'll just have 38 dudes on there. We do have forts here, don't we? We actually fucking don't. Oh, God. Um, oh, dear. Probably should have built forts there. Maybe, 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 maybe we'll send some troops here. We should probably send some troops here. You guys get on there. You guys get on there. You guys get back on there. And we'll just assign you a couple generals. Uh, let's give you Wilhelm List and Maximilian Weich. Hooray! War! Right. Onward, soldiers! Wreck'em face! What the fuck? Be on this line properly, you dicks! Oh my god! Man, not having planes is just the worst, though. Oh god. That's really bad for us. I guess we're just trying to sign all our rest leftover fighters because we have a bunch of really weird fighters that I don't really understand why we have them. Oh god. It's fine, it's fine. And send these guys that way and over to Western Poland they go. You guys stand quietly. Volunteers from the Kingdom of Italy, alrighty. Um, so where can I get... I actually forget. Where's the Italian allies? The Pact of Steel. Yes, please. Please give me alliance. So we're gonna... Oh, gain Blitz... Ah! So this is a unique thing for the, the mod. Germany special. It doesn't have text. Blitzkrieg, which is division speed, 10% division attack for 300 days. Bitchin'. And um, we're just gonna really, hopefully, quickly take Poland. Can't help but notice that you guys aren't at war with them. We just want to make sure that they don't get called in as well. Good stuff. Obviously all those people are being called in. France bans communism. Oh my. The British Raj has been called in. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Oops, forgot to do you guys too. Whoopsie, doodle, whoopsie doodles, off you go. 
Well, Poland was very easily taken. That was that was not really much of a, of a problem. Ooh, volunteers from the Spanish state. Ooh. Well, this has gone well, actually. It's gone surprisingly well. Uh, we actually also have more factories. But, Jesus Christ, where's all my tungsten gone? Oh, yeah. Because now I don't have anyone to trade with. Oh. That's sad. Now people keep destroying my Googles. My Googles. Why you gotta destroy my shit? Bruh. Bruh. Why you be like this? Oh, well, that's holding on, at least, so that's good. Right. Yay, divisions from friends. Ah! Convoys are getting boned! Yeah, we don't have the ships to deal with this. <laughs> um, we may need to build some convoys. Let's do that, shall we? The fall of Warsaw! During the advancing of the Commonwealth of Poland succeeded in capturing Warsaw. Sporadic fighting continues in Praga, but a few districts of organized resistance to the city has been ceased. The Polish government reportedly evacuated the city as the first German units entered Warsaw suburbs. Yes. The Commonwealth of Poland has indeed capitulated. We got a few thousand supplies. Ooh, including a thousand fighters. That's nice. Okay. So we're going to put the 15 dudes here. Right on that front line. Take them to Brussels. The 77 dudes are going to go right there. Uh, you're going to go back and have uh, Von Bruck. No, no Gunther, Gunther von Klunge. What a fucking name. Oh, baby. And there it is. Logistics company has been gained. Excellente. Troops will redeploy. Troops will redeploy. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna start working on just, like, more fighters, just, like, near constantly now, because this is getting a little dick. And we're just gonna move our fighters to, um, the Munich airports. And they're gonna contest it. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Still a bit shy on resources, but that's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, the partitioning of Poland. Uh, Alright, we will not fight the Soviet Union just yet. We'll see the Treaty of Precipitations will be obeyed. Kind of wish I hadn't signed that now, but here we are. It's okay. I did the thingies and the stuff. Ah, uh, they're rebelling and such. USSR occupies Eastern Poland. As agreed. When does my uh, fighty fight with Greece go away? Ah, oh, cool. Cool, so once we got Pact of Steel, we will then jump into uh, the Fallgleib. So that'll be fun. And then Fallrot. We already are at war with the French Republic, so that's a bit weird. Pact of Steel. Fallgleib. Oh man, they are just they just keep trying it, don't they? They just keep trying it. What a bunch of assholes. Um, and what about the resistance? What's our resistance looking like? Okay. It's not great. So what we might need to do now is make our own little general here. Hello. You're just gonna be our worst general possible. There we go, von Kleist. And we're gonna make a garrison order of one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, but also nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it's not actually showing me the area. That's weird. Uh, but we only need you to guard ports and resistance. Perfect. So you're going to keep guarding. You're going to guard all the ports and make sure that we don't have any assholes trying to invade us. Yay! Thirteen divisions. Awesome. German pressure towards the Benelux. Following the breakout of war, France Germany supplies stronger diplomatic pressure than ever of the countries of the Benelux. There is no reason to believe that if God blah 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 blah, they will take it by force. That's uh, that's right, uh, because we're going to do that. And then there's Operation Tannenbaum to be able to get a focus war goal against the Swiss, which would be fucking awesome. Uh, we could now also retool the Czech industry, which would be very cool. 
Why aren't, why aren't you my friend yet? But let's do that. We're going to just declare war super quick. Lose just anti commenter and signatory. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Onward, so just kill everybody. Nice. And there it is. We can invite a faction at the Kingdom of Italy. Yes, we will. Hi, Italy. Hi, Italy. Oh, we haven't called anyone to war. Uh, let's call our all, ally, all shall we? Yeah, yeah, we will. And so the fun begins. Well, Belgium's been annihilated. That was pretty fucking fast. Bye, lol. Oh, Netherlands. Cool, Netherlands has capitulated. Great news. Uh, now we go live to the front. Whoops. Alright, to Brussels. Take it all, lads. And then we'll just beeline into Paris. Kino Belgians capitulated. Oh, baby. Let's go, lads. Come on. Whoops. That's not the right front lines. Stop that. Perfect. To Paris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ridic. Look at this. Oh, we can also declare war in Luxembourg. Hi, Luxembourg. Sorry. It's an unfortunate reality. We'll continue this in the next episode, guys, with the, the complete domination of Europe. It is, of course, World War II, but things are happening pretty much historically. We're then going to need to make sure we declare onto Greece as well once we have the armed forces ready. In fact, we do very soon. In fact, we'll just start doing that right now with Arwen Rommel into Greece. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Do be sure to check out the other series I have on my channel, as well as I do also subscribe to me on Patreon if you'd like. Links are in the description if you want to support the channel. Leave a like and a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Aldrich Hill, I can teach beat. This has been some parts of Iron 4, Darkest Hour. Bye-bye.